and therefore we are calling upon the police to release Eric Omondi with immediate effect and if anything and I repeat if anything shall happen to Eric Omondi who is a citizen of this country and is I mean uh, exercising his rights we will hold the police accountable and it will not be business as usual at the offices of the inspector general release Eric Omondi with immediate effect Thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, members of the press. First and foremost, I want to congratulate colleague young people who stepped out to put this government to task and ask the key questions on why there is need to increase taxes, whereas the former finance bill of 2023, we have not been told how much we raised. And therefore, this is now the state of youth address, and I'm going to put clear whatever we are going to do today going forward because it's not going to be a rest the house on the hill there shall not be rest on the house of the hill people who occupy that house must not rest and the youth of this country are determined and careful and intentional to ensure that we restore the democracy of this country on 22nd june that will be on uh, sunday we are going to ensure that there is no politician who voted yes to the bill who will be able to talk in any church you will not address any gathering. You cannot lie to Kenyans and lie in church. You must choose where you're going to lie to. On 23rd June, that will be on uh, on Sunday. Yes, on, on 24th June, on Monday, we will make a courtesy call. And I want to call upon young members across this country. Ensure that you visit your MP who voted yes. Starting with Nairobi County, we are going to visit all those who voted yes and greet them and tell them to continue behaving that way because we have a date with them in 2027. On 25th June, that will be on Tuesday, we shall occupy Parliament once again because we cannot sit as they stand. We cannot, start, we cannot sit as they sit. If they stand, we sit. If they sit, we stand. So members of Parliament, don't think they, 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 this issue is over. We are coming for you. On Tuesday, we shall occupy Parliament. On Wednesday, 26th June, we are mourning our, our beloved brother, Comrade Rex, who died in the line of duty, defending this country. And I want to tell the regime that Moi's regime killed many young people. Moi's regime deleted and executed a serious attack on Comrade Titus Adungosi. But that did not stop whatever, that, whatever the people were pushing for. So we saw Adungosi die and we are ready to do whatever it needed to ensure that this country is restored back to where it should be. On 27th June, we shall block all main roads that are entering Parliament. There shall be no member of Parliament who will access that, that house until we come to agreement that this country must be restored back to where it should be. And therefore, I want to call upon young people in this country. Do not relent. Do not be threatened. Step up. This is the time. The government is afraid. That's why they are sending police officers. And to Adams Bungay and I.G. Koome, these are like your sons and daughters sitting at home. These are your grandchildren and grandchildren. If you attack us, we are not going to attack back. But we want to tell you that the blood of that comrade, Rex, is in your hands. You are going to pay for it, whether today or tomorrow. And finally, I want to tell you for a fact that in this life, at the end of the day, nobody will exit this life alive. We are, going, we are all going to exit dead, including you people who are shooting at the innocent young bloods. And to the police, we are fighting for you because you, do not, you cannot fight for yourselves. This fight is, for, is also for yourselves. You cannot have even unions to defend you. We are fighting for you. And therefore, we want to tell you, if you see us in the streets, it is not that we lack what to do. We are trying to push an agenda that will serve you, will serve your families, and will serve your generations. So therefore, I call upon young people to step up. Viva Vijana Viva! Viva Comrades Viva! Viva Kenya Viva! Reject finance bill and reject in totality. Occupy parliament, occupy state house. Number one, we are, going, we are saying and we still maintain that we are going to occupy the roads of this country. There shall be no business as usual until the government listens to us. We are going to do whatever it is within our minds. We are not fighting anybody. We are not attacking anybody. We are going to demonstrate because that is now the job that the government has given us. 
the government has not been able to employ any young people and they've given us a platform now to do that which we are doing. We are, pro we are demonstrating pro bono to save this country. And that's what we're going to do as a young people and we'll keep doing it. And for the members of parliament who have decided to go against the wish of the majority, we have a date with you in 2027. I'm saying again, we have a date with you in 2027. And like I said, we are going to visit you and greet you and say hi and encourage you to continue behaving the same way you are behaving. We are, we, we, we are confident that uh, most members of parliament are acting not from their own, I mean, independent thoughts. And that's why you cannot have the country running very well. And we want to tell them, we are the people who send you to parliament. It is either you do what we are saying or we take you off the parliament. Because you can, nothing else will save you. Those who voted yes, we've marked all of you. We know yourselves, we know your families, we know where you stay. We are not saying that we'll come for them, but you as a person, we will deal with you. Either today or tomorrow, but you are not going to escape this. We are actually calling upon the police to release Eric Omondi immediately. You cannot be mishandling everybody in this country. The police, Inspector General, must understand that we all have equal rights in this country. And we are protected by the Constitution 2010. Those who fought that Constitution are not stupid. And therefore we are calling upon the police to release Eric Omondi with immediate effect. And if anything, and I repeat, if anything shall happen to Eric Omondi, who is a citizen of this country and is I mean, uh, exercising his rights, we will hold the police accountable. And it will not be business as usual at the offices of the Inspector General. Release Eric Omondi with immediate effect. The young man did nothing wrong to express his rights. The financial bill is bad, it is punitive, and we must talk about it. And we shall talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. So much for your time. Thank you.